Welcome to BPM's IPO, a series of conversations with BPM leaders who bring stellar experience, helping our clients explore options ranging from IPO to many other forms of exit and liquidity events. Uh, today's guest is Mark Leverett. Mark uh, not only is uh, an accounting guru, and we'll get to that in a moment, uh, but he, he brings the distinction of being the captain of the UCLA ski and snowboarding team. And uh, though you may not be able to catch him on the mountain in the summer, uh, you can find him on Peloton as Hip Hop CPA. Mark, any, any comments on your extracurricular activities? I can't wait to see the numbers of followers just edge up. Uh, I think, days. yeah, I'm, I'm sh I think you're going to become a viral sensation uh, on, on Peloton. So we'll, we'll get you a sponsorship deal there soon, Mark. Well, so Mark, uh, let's talk a little bit. We have uh, founders, we have exec teams, we have others uh, among our listeners and, and client base. Let's start with kind of a, a picture of success. Today, we're talking about uh, what many would call outsourced accounting. We'll talk about some of the nuances there, client accounting services. Uh, but let's talk about a successful client um, and the exit that your team helped make possible. Many of our uh, team members are former auditors themselves. I have been in the audit profession for 16 years. And so a lot of the uh, client accounting services that we perform come from the perspective of being prepared for a serious audit. Our topic today is IPO readiness. So a serious audit is, is what is coming and it's a PCAOB standard audit approach, um, usually from a firm that is well vetted in performing audits for publicly traded companies and the IPO process is even more thorough. That S1 document that gets filed is a very regimented process. So I want to give you a little background on an example client that we worked with um, for a few years getting going into the approach to the IPO. Um, this was an ad tech company that had many years of going through changes that were significant over the history. And when you get to the IPO process, you need to have a three-year back audit, um, usually performed by a big four auditor uh, and under the PCOB standards. We helped them by preparing memos, highlighting the technical events that they were gonna need to paper over thoroughly. And surely when the auditors come in, they touch on many of those items that we expect they're gonna look at but they also have an element of surprise. You never know what they're gonna look for, but you stumble upon some pretty interesting transactions. We need to find invoice support. We need to assist uh, in writing up how it affects the financial statements and roll through those items by quarter. It's a significant process, but um, this company went public through an S1, uh, the traditional IPO process, and currently exists today. Mark, I had mentioned a little, sometimes uh, this realm is referred to as outsourced. Is total outsourcing truly required? And you know, kind of where, what different ways can your team come into the picture? So the easy answer for that is no. Uh, total outsourced back office is not a requirement. There are some firms that require you to get on their program and literally it is a, a menu of services that you have to take the entire list. For BPM and the way that we do our business enterprise service team, it is a customized approach. And so we learn uh, what works for you, what is necessary, and we certainly step in and try to help streamline and improve the process, always with the vision of getting to the point that you're IPO ready, if that's the future you're looking for. Certainly companies want to start with kind of a, a, a slower process normally, and then depending upon the volume of transactions and uh, the recipients of the financial statements, there may be more of a technical approach earlier on, but certainly what you don't want to do is, uh, is have that moment in time where you have to back up a, a truck with a bunch of cash and pour it in one month, two months, trying to sprint to the end. That's just not a good place to be. So we customize our approach to what you need and try to help you envision the timeline that works. For our listeners who were just attracted by the hip hop CPA here, uh, if you do want to go back and check, Mark's colleagues also provide services, include uh, including HR, uh, managed IT, so you can check those out with Mike Salai and, uh, and Jill Poppenheimer. Mark, you'd mentioned that you know, kind of looking back three years, uh, in some cases, how early does your team prefer to get involved? We enjoy a slower pace and a little bit of advanced warning. Typically, we'd like a couple of years to get ready for an IPO, but in this market, clearly with the SPAC uh, go public process, many companies need to sprint uh, very fast. 
So we do have some capabilities to deploy large teams to help uh, to get ready for the PCAOB audit that will be coming from a, a big four provider or a significant uh, firm that has gone through uh, the IPO process and we can help you get ready. Mark, now we know that within the client accounting industry, there are many different roads people can go. Some of them, you know, very inexpensive and appealing. Can you talk a little bit about BPM's approach when it comes to, to quality and caliber and, and why sometimes low cost is not the best option? When you're hiring BPM to do your back office or augment your accounting team, you're hiring a firm that's going to be getting you ready from day one. So we don't typically onboard clients that just want bookkeeping or transactional support. We are here to be able to discuss in a very thorough manner internal controls, technical memos, the types of investors that are going to be reading your financial statements and the information they want to see. And we're assisting management with insights about their accounting early on. Regardless if you think you're gonna become a publicly traded company at some point, you should have best practices in-house and that's what we provide. Thank you, Mark. Uh, lastly, uh, talk a little about trends you are seeing. I mean, we've, we've touched uh, you know, on some of those throughout this conversation, but amongst your client base, what are some of the trends you're seeing in the marketplace? So the uh, special purpose acquisition company, the SPAC, um, has been teaming up increasingly with larger dollars through private equity. And what that means is that the valuations of the companies that are going public via the blank check company are able to have more liquidity, more capital day one. The hope there is that companies are already you know, ready to be publicly traded at the time they go public through the SPAC offering. But because of the number of SPAC entities that are out there in the market searching for this company to acquire, with all the capital that they have available through that hybrid private SPAC offering, many companies are having to think hard and long about if they're ready to become a publicly traded company. So what I find is really interesting, and this has only been over the last maybe quarter, maybe six months, where companies have been rejecting and opting out of being acquired uh, and going public. And I think that this comes from a place of more insight about what it takes. I think that the professionals that are helping these companies make the decision are providing more guidance and highlighting some of the risks, not only from the, the transparency that you get from being a publicly traded company, but also the rigorous internal controls and processes you need to have in place. And the leaders within those companies are taking that guidance and making, I think, smart decisions to hesitate and to think long and hard before making that jump. Well, thank you, Mark. And uh, we invite uh, all of our listeners to connect with uh, Mark on LinkedIn. Um, always happy to have uh, an assessment conversation about some of the things that you are seeing with, with your company or with those in your investment portfolio. We invite you to uh, follow uh, BPM on our YouTube channel. So Mark, uh, last question, a very serious one. I understand uh, as behind the hip hop CPA uh, Peloton name that uh, there are, are some beatboxing skills. Would you mind uh, sharing? Oh, yeah. Perhaps share a bit of those with us mind. before we close. Let's do it. All right, here we it. go. <laughs> wow. Get that man an oxygen tank. Mark, thank you for your time.